Hey. Hi. Hi. You're just in time. I'm going to test or press. Would you do the camera? Oh, sure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test this new mini halfwood press, number 44. I always test the presses before the people come and pick them up or before I ship them. I like to add one tiny drop of plate oil. This is called ink modifying. Oh, whoops, too much. I just want a drop. I'll move over here. If you get too much oil, it'll wipe out of the plate too fast. That feels about right. I'm going to print the black in the handwriting that's on this plate. It won't take much because there's not much image etched into the plate. That's enough ink. Now I'll warm it. And by warming it, the ink will get soft and runny right away. Makes it a lot easier. Now I'll put it on the sticky board. And so that I don't get ink all over everything, I'll put down a piece of newsprint. And then I'll roll it out smooth. Now I begin what we call what I call the paper wipe. Back to the sticky board. A lot of ways to wipe plates. Traditionally we use a fabric called tarlatan. This is tarlatan. You go over the plate first with tarlatan very lightly and then follow it up with a paper wipe or the hand wipe, which you will see in a few minutes, in a minute or two. Now one side of this etching is for the other plate, which is coming up. You can see here. And so the, um, the side of the plate that's blank is where this plate is going to be printed. It's a two-step process. Again, I don't do the same thing every time I make up uh, new test plates every time I make a press. My reward for all the crafts and work that I had to do to make the press, my reward is that I get to do some improvisation and be kind of wild and crazy. And I'm so fond of violet mixed with sanguine that I'm going to use that combination. A little bit of violet, a little sanguine. Now I'll pick up a little drop of that oil, soften it up a little bit. Now the roller has black ink on it, but I can just use it uh, sparingly to get some of the ink uh, just rolled out uniform. I won't contaminate the color. There's not enough black ink on the roller to contaminate. I'm going to double this over so that I have a fairly clean piece of newsprint. I'm going to warm the plate and then start using the tarlatan. It doesn't take long to heat that little plate. Put it on the sticky board. Pretty soon I'll be adjusting the pressure on the press and we'll pull our proof to prove that the press works. So I'm going to use a hand wipe now at this stage. First I'll dry off my hand. It's been getting a little sweaty inside that rubber glove. A little bit of talcum powder to dry it off really well. And then very lightly go over the plate with the heel of my hand, this little kind of fat, muscly part of my hand. That's called the hand wipe. Use a little talcum powder only a tiny bit of talcum powder. 
you rub off all the talcum powder so that it doesn't dust into your ink and then you wipe the plate with that little heel of your hand. That's the hand wipe. Now I'm ready to set up the press. When you get your mini, mini half wood press, it's always a question as to how much pressure you're going to need. And that's why I make these test uh, DVDs, is it helps the owner know how to set up the press. This press is brand new, so it still has the protective cover on the uh, Lexan bed. She might want to remove that when she gets it to her studio. I started, I started the blankets or the felts under the roller, roll them in just a little bit, and just tighten it down comfortably tight. This is always a, a tough thing to communicate because how heavy is heavy? The answer is, when you print it, you'll see whether it had enough pressure or not. All other things being equal, that is, the paper dampened, the plate thickness, and so forth. Now I'll bring over the paper. As I said, this paper has been in the little damp book for a couple of hours now. I just sprayed it with a spray bottle. This particular paper is called Arches Cover. It's a good printmaking paper. You put it in a plastic bag and set it under a flat weight for a couple hours and it comes out nice and soft. It's called a damp book. I'll put the other one in in case I have to do this test twice, or if I want, if I like the print, I might make one for myself. So the paper goes on the on the on the bed. I get it started, just started, and I'm going to print the lettering first. And as soon as I get it through the press, I'll replace the uh, first plate with the second plate. I like to go slowly when I print. I think I get a better impression if I go slowly. That little jerk told me that I'm off the plate now, so camera operator might want to walk around the other side. There's the lettering, and I left the paper trapped under the roller, and I'm going to warm the other plate, because I get a better print if it's warm. Just warming it up so it's not too hot to carry but it's hot enough to warm the ink and make it soft. I just realized I forgot the Sheen Collet part, so if you'll just keep that camera rolling, I'll go back and catch that. Sheen Collet is just glued paper. I'm using Yes Paste. Sheen Collet is a, a, a process of using paste on the back of an image. And then running it through the press. I run the risk of getting a blurry image having run it through twice. But it's a risk I have to take. Again, my main purpose is to test the press, not necessarily to make a great work of art. And here we are. And that completes the test. Thank you very much, Linda, for your help. And I'm Bill Ritchie.